Our Mike Yanni is in Banff this morning at the Fairmont Banff Springs. He's telling us ghost stories, but he also has your daily download. Hi, Mike. Hello. Yes, you know what Ted was just talking about, Uber launching in Calgary. Well, Uber, you know, they, they have a few enemies out there. They're not best friends with the cab companies, but you can add another group to that list, and that's couriers, because Uber is launching a new service, not in Calgary, but they're testing it out somewhere else. Um, it's kind of interesting. It's called Uber Rush. So the idea behind this is uh, stores sign up for Uber Rush, and they deliver goods from stores. It's a delivery service, so they deliver it directly to you. Now, the idea is the stores offer, uh, it, it's a cheap way for stores to deliver goods to customers for a fraction of the cost that a courier or a mail service would cost. Customers can also see in real time where their package is online. That's pretty cool. Uber Rush is only available in a few U.S. cities, but expect that to expand in the coming months. Well, Leah, we know that air travel isn't exactly easy. There's a lot of restrictions on what you can bring online, and or not online, but on board. And you know what? It's probably going to get even more difficult. The FAA in the States uh, has announced that lithium batteries may soon be banned. Um, so the FAA, uh, just so you know, stands for the uh, Federal Aviation Administration. They claim that the lithium batteries present a risk of igniting and fueling fires in aircraft and cargo and baggage compartments. Now this is interesting because we've actually known that batteries are a risk for a while, but the FAA hasn't really done anything about this until now. So how this is going to affect travelers is still unknown because you got to realize that smartphones and other gadgets, they also have lithium batteries in them. So what the restrictions exactly are going to be, uh, we don't know at this point, um, but apparently there's going to be a crackdown uh, coming uh, sometime in the near future. Uh, an interesting story uh, happening online, Leah, this morning with Indiegogo, an interesting campaign. It's a new way to um, tell you what the weather's like outside by bringing the sky inside your home. I kind of like this. This is called the Tempescope. It's designed to replicate weather conditions inside your house. So it's a rectangular box, and inside it displays rain, thick clouds, even lightning. You can set it up to show the current condition outside, or you can use a smartphone app to display weather from other parts of the world. Now, its creators are looking to raise nearly half a million dollars to get the project off the ground. If they succeed, Tempescope should ship sometime in April. And with that, your download is now complete.